back to my channel. In this video, we're gonna head to Barnes & Noble, but first, I got a few exciting things to open. I've been waiting forever for these packages and I can't wait to open them. One of my packages did come from Japan and it took about two months to arrive. The first box I'm currently opening is from Crunchyroll. I've been really into Jujutsu Kaisen lately. It's the only thing on my mind, so I had to get something from it. What did you guys think of season two? Let me know below in the comments. For me, I only have positive things to say about season two. Like the fighting scenes were so crisp so clean and my favorite fight scene was definitely Sukuna's. all of his fight scenes for a matter of fact is anyone else caught up in the jjk manga He's my favorite character from Jujutsu Kaisen. I'm obsessed with his character. I love it so much. This is my first ever Nendroid figure. I've heard so many good things about Nendroids. They are so well made and they have a ton of detail. It comes with three facial expressions. I mean, come on, doesn't he look so cute? You already know I had to save the best package for last. Ready to see who came from Shibuya? Look who it is! Just look at his beautiful eyes. So far, his outfit and his hair seems to be all good. Really good condition. I was a little worried because it didn't come with a tag, but I love him regardless. So far, Megami has my favorite expression. He looks so adorable! I will take them out of the plastic packaging later in this video. These plushies are so cute and I can't stop saying that because just look at Yuji! I just want to give him one big ol' squish! It looks like he came with an extra item too. Next up we have the good ol' can't get over his goggles. They look so good on him! I love his miniature size suit. Ah! This is how he looks outside of the bag. And if you lift up his little goggles, you can see his eyes! Look at him! Oh my gosh. So his goggles are attached to his eyes, but you can always get a little peek. Now we have the goat, Yuta! His expression is so cute. He looks a little worried or nervous. <laughs> so far, I love how all the plushies have blush. And here he is, the man, the myth, and the legend. Of course, he's gonna come with his shirt half up. <laughs> Unlike Nanami's goggles, you can completely lift up Gojo's blindfold. Uh, same with his shirt, I guess. Look at his pearly blue eyes, so cute. I love the way they designed his eyes. It really makes his plushie stand out from the others. One Gojo plush wasn't enough, so we had to get the other one too! These plushies are pretty squishy and very soft. I think you can lift the blindfold off of this one too. I think I'm gonna just keep his plushie with the blindfold completely up. His eyes are just too pretty, you know? I love them all so much. Let me know in the comments below which one was your favorite plush. Oh, I forgot to include this extra item they gave me. It seems like it's a pencil case. It's really cute, but there's not much room to put things in it. Maybe coins? 
いい機会だ教えてやる本物の事実というものを Oh my god, he's so cute. All right, we're here at Barnes and Noble today because they're having a closing at this location here in New York City. So they're having major discounts. I've never seen so many people here at this location before. And if you look, there is a huge line wrapping around the entire store from the front all the way to the very back. So almost everything is 50% off. And you already know I'm here for the manga and the anime merchandise. There used to be two rows of manga shelves, but now they're only down to one row. Unfortunately, I heard about this a little bit late, so we'll see what they still have remaining. Okay, I see Full Metal Alchemist. Solid, solid find. I haven't finished watching the anime yet. I know, I know. I'm trying to get through it. <laughs> Nothing wrong with it. There's just so much on my watch list. So don't come after me. <laughs> no way. They have killing stopping. I do not recommend it personally for me. Um, <coughs> yeah, it's a lot. It's a lot. This story is so incredibly toxic and it has a lot of trigger warnings. So before you even think about reading it, look it up. Also, don't even think about it if you're young because this is a mature rated BL. It's solo leveling. I did start watching it recently, the new season that just came out. I already finished reading it a while ago, so I'm so happy to see that we have a webtoon that's animated. If you like solo leveling, I also recommend checking out Tower of God. Okay, so this is another BL called On or Off. I've heard a few things about it, and I think majority of people said they liked it. Again, this is mature content, so don't read it if you're underage. I've always wanted to read this, so I might pick this one. Oh, look at the cover on this. I love Nesco Smile. They had one Tokyo Revengers manga left. Because everything is 50% off, if you put one book down, like best to bet, when you go back, it's gonna be gone. Oh. I was so surprised to see they still had any Attack on Titan manga left. This could be possibly the last manga left for Attack on Titan here at this location. So let's just take a few seconds to admire Erwin. I had no idea Kirby had a manga, and it's so adorable! Yeah. 
I got lucky and I did find book four for on or off. Unfortunately, everything was just kind of all over the place, so you really had to dig around. I was so happy to see they had so many Black Butler manga. It's actually one of my first anime that I've ever watched. What's the first anime you ever watched? I heard that Black Butler is getting a new season, season four, and I can't wait. I couldn't believe they had a Pokemon Pikachu Nano Block for like 75% off. And it was originally $12.95. I found a table with a ton of anime figures and toys still left. This Inosuke one is so tempting. Do I do it? Step to the dead! They have a lot of these figures from Q Posket. They also had this mini figure from Dr. Stone. I hope I find something from Jujutsu Kaisen. Let's keep our fingers crossed. They also have a Zenetsu figure. Honestly, not the biggest fan of Zenetsu. Sorry, Zenetsu fans. They also had anime Funko Pop. I'm so happy to see a Game of Thrones books because it's one of my favorite series that I've watched. I think this is Denji. Right, Luca, wait a minute. No more! This is the first JJK merchandise that I've seen so far, and it's Nobora. She looks so cute. I was so surprised to see this little BTS plushie just hiding in between all of these toys. I love the little one too. <gasps> Animal Crossing? They have a solid handful of Demon Slayer products. These look pretty cool, but the art style wasn't for me. I do see Tengen, and he is my favorite character from Demon Slayer. They also have a cute, tiny little Tokyo Revengers keychain. This seems like an interesting coloring book. It can't be that scary, right?
anyway, they do have everything everywhere all at once. Oh my god, I could not believe my eyes when I saw M-A-D-K. It's one of my favorite BLs of all time. So this genre is psychological horror and romance. It's mature rated, so again, do not read this if you're young. I love this book, it's so good. Got some studio chips. They do have a good amount of selection left, so you gotta look really carefully. No Blaze is such a good book. I miss reading this. I picked up this manga, Go Go Loser Ranger, just to give it a try and give myself a little break from shopping. I was so excited to hear that Barnes & Noble had a 50% off sale, but it's unfortunate that another Barnes & Noble in New York City has to go. Due to the fact that the store is closing, I'm just scanning through other shelves and looking around. Collecting manga is such an expensive hobby, so I'm not gonna lie, I'm really grateful that they do have this huge discount going on right now. Oh my gosh, they have more Demon Slayer merchandise, and this is so cute! There's a set of three of them. Other than the indent on the top, the box is pretty good condition right now. I'm currently watching Sign of Affection and it is adorable. After watching it, I really want to learn sign language. I'm kind of just adventuring off into different aisles and stuff, hoping to see something that might catch my eye. There were so many holiday toys, seasonal items that were all 50% off. Oh, it's so hard trying not to spend so much money. Ah, I'm so happy to see more Jujutsu Kaisen stuff. I have no idea what's inside, but it feels very squishy. And unfortunately, it seems like someone already peeked and ripped this one open. I had no idea Barnes & Noble had K-pop albums, and there was such a huge variety left. Oh, well, you look at that. There's a Tanjiro figure here. Okay. I totally missed out on this shelf. I wish I saw it sooner. The only bookmarks they had left were the My Hero Academia ones. Oh, this is really cool. It's a paper theater of Demon Slayer. I'm a huge fan of stationery, especially if it's from an anime that I like.
This one completely caught my eye. It's adorable. It's the Hashiras in, in little cute cat form. I wish they had Tengen, but this is still so cute regardless. I think this is the same Inosuke figure that I saw before. And they have more Demon Slayer paper theater. Okay, they have a Howl's Moving Castle paper theater. Now this is a pretty solid find. They also have BT21 socks. I was just in line about to check out, but then this table caught my eye. There was a huge variety of anime figures here. Inosuke looks really nice here. I love the design. They also have this character from One Piece. Near the checkout, they also have this huge shelf with a bunch of toys, gifts, and so much more. All 50% off. This is nice. It's sushi tape, but um, it looks like <laughs> if you peel it off, like you'd have no idea what it is. Ugh, it breaks my heart to see everything thrown around like this. I finally found a Tengen figure, it's so nice! We're so close to the cashier. Today just felt like a huge treasure hunt and it was so fun. The line was about an hour wait, so it was, it was quite a while quite a while. I can't wait to show you my haul at the very end of the video. Please comment what you would be interested in buying. Now this is really nice. I just saw a Attack on Titan Mikasa tote bag right at the checkout line. I thought about getting it but I have to admit I do have a lot of tote bags to go through. Whoa, they had a huge amount of the Attack on Titan tote bags behind the counter. Alright, it's time to head on back, and they're just about to close. We're heading back now, it's kinda late. I'll show you my haul once we go back. We made it back, so let me show you my haul. Everything I got is gonna be in here, so let's go through each one. I got Demon Slayer Hiru Neko. I wish they had Tengen, but they didn't have much left when we got there. But he's cute. <gasps> Let's see. Ta-da! 
looks so cute. And they just sit like that. Up, we have this manga that I bought. It's called M A D K. I actually already finished reading this, so I'm glad to find a physical copy. I highly recommend it if you're a fan of BL. And here's the name of the author. Last but not least is... This JJK Zero Mystery Squishy. There isn't a picture of the characters that you could possibly get, so we're just gonna have to wing it and see who who's inside. Just by feel, I couldn't tell you who it is, but I'm hoping it's Yuta. There are six type of characters that you could potentially get. All right, fingers crossed, let's see who we get. Put your guesses down in the comments below. Let's see who it is. Drum roll, please. It is. Huh? Oh, it's Panda. Oh, it's so squishy. Cute. He. Oh, it's it's a bun. That's cute. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next week.